and then this Matsumoto is like beautiful too. Yeah. Because uh, all of uh, my uh, knife, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. At the uh, Nanox, this is my favorite knife. Can I touch the blade? Of course. <laughs> yeah, this so, is... yeah, this is my favorite, which is very handy. And then once you sharp uh, this uh, knife blade, like last long, uh, it's my favorite knife. And then it's really comfortable the grip as well. Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite knife. And then uh, I also use just a uh, sharp knife, uh, this size too. Yeah. yeah, this is the like whatever you need to like a julienne and dice, whatever the fruit or like vegetables, this is perfect. Yeah, these two knives I usually most. I used to actually use this knife uh, uh, when I made a chocolate actually. Oh, <laughs> it's a little, little kind of funny, but uh, uh, I used to make the chocolate cigarette. So chocolate cigarette, uh, you need the like perfect blade straight up. So marble, when you uh, spread chocolate uh, on the marble, and then this perfect thing, like you just like push. So uh, I use this chocolate a lot for the uh, chocolate garnish, and also, yeah, I use this for the like cake, you know, slicing mm -hmm. the gen Genoa, like Japanese Genoa. Yeah, oh, wow, wow. I use it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but these days, actually, I don't really work with pastry. I use uh, more savory. This slice is nice too. I love this slice. I have the same one. Yeah. What would you say your first experience with corn is? So Korean, the uh, so first time I need like chef knife and then where to buy a uh, chef knife. Everybody like, like. 99% of the people actually recommend the Korean and then I came down here a long time ago and then I bought one chef knife uh, The knife is not here anymore, but this is almost same as the kind of similar knife as uh, the one I had Do you still have the, the Korean knife? I do still have a two Korean knife. Yes, I that's uh, my favorite one I work one at home. I use both of them and then they are workers and there's still nothing no issue so far like I just get a little bit uh, the the sign is like going off but I was very sad uh, no more that knife but I see kind of like uh, this knives are very similar yeah everything in the store if you can have take home one knife with you which one would you want to take home with you oh definitely yeah like slicer these days you want to go take a look at it yeah. Which one do you, which one speaks to you most right here? Oh, the black handle. This is definitely, yeah. Uh, these days I use a lot of fish and then uh, also we are serving a lot of like, uh, 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 like raw fish, kind of like sashimi. So I s slice a lot of fish and then every single time when I slice a fish, knife is like a most important thing. Why? Because uh, you not press hard to like a fish slice. You need to gently slice it. That's what uh, I, s I feel these days. So actually, I am planning buying soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then this Matsumoto is like beautiful too. Yeah, because uh, all of my uh, knife, wow, <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> it's beautiful though. So yeah, and then one day I wanna like uh, I mean I don't wanna buy, but I wanna I wanna try this knife to make the noodle. Silver knife. Yeah, yeah. silver knife. Yeah, it's a I think. One Fun tool. Mm -hmm. Fun tool, yeah, I definitely like. Because uh, I was a pastry chef, so I play with the dough a lot. So, you know, I make a lot of like a bread and like dough, like with the pasta, so something kind of play. So, uh, definitely, I'm really into making like a soba, and then I want to try like hand cut soba. <laughs>